I, I, I seem to spend my life looking at people whose lives would be massively improved by letting go of the anger and the hatred. It's not like you get paid for it. The people writing the columns get paid for it. So your lives would be massively improved by letting go of the anger and the hatred. And, and yet we can't work out why you choose to, to, to feel it. And, of course, you deny that it's anger and hatred. It's a perfectly rational response to claim that Meghan Markle is pretending to be pregnant. January's in Clapham. January, what do you reckon? Yeah, I, I just had to call because I feel like it's just an echo chamber today. Everybody yes. is agreeing with you. Well, they're not, Everybody's though, are they? Sexist. Yeah, pardon? They're not, though, are they're they? Not. Well, a little bit. Um, everybody's sexist. No, 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 or no. We're ignorant. And, uh, oh, and by the way, we voted Brexit. Um, but what I want to say is, yes. I think in the beginning, we all embraced her. And the... I. The well, exa exactly. Sorry, you've, mis you've misunderstood. Let, 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 let me finish. We, the Queen was the one who... I mean, we all embraced her. I thought, yeah, she's a breath of fresh air. She's different. So she's what changed? The anti -Kate. I'll tell you what. When you cherry pick articles about the baby bump, which is just stupid clickbait, I mean that's what the press does. They do stupid. Clickbait and and where, where do you get your information like, about my, the royal family from? I'm just, I'm, yeah, it's that you know we read it. Do I dislike Megan because she held her bump? No, I don't care. No, no, but but, but if you're not getting your information from the newspapers, where are you getting it from? Meaning what? Well, yeah, about about the, the royal newspapers. family. I still read the papers. I still read the papers. Right. Like, what, what's the, what, what are you asking? What I'm saying is that you're claiming that she's bullied, Megan is bullied. Have we forgotten that Camilla Parker Bowles went through the exact same thing? If not worse, she was pilloried. She was, she was the Rottweiler. Camilla she Parker was, Bowles was perceived she, you know as breaking up, up you know what? Prince Charles and oh. Diana's marriage. Pardon? Camilla yeah, yeah, yeah. Parker Bowles was... My point being... So, so if I said, why are people taken against Camilla Parker woman. Bowles? She was yes. the most bullied woman, and we're forgetting that the press does this. The no, we're, we're, not, we're not forgetting that, because if, if yeah, I said, why is everybody being so mean... Oh, crikey. We must be racist because we don't like her. No, if everybody I, I said, why, why is everybody her? being mean to Camilla Parker Bowles, and you rang up and said, well, she, she was Prince Charles's mistress, she's the reason why we have our first ever divorced <laughs> monarch... I'd go, oh, yeah, that's a good reason. Like. That's a good reason. No. So now I say no, about I'm Meghan saying, Markle... They're saying that she's no? been bullied okay. disproportionately than anybody else because she's a woman and we're afraid of... So why do you think she has, then? Well, I don't... I, to be honest with you, I don't think she has. The reason... I'll tell you what turned me against what really put a bad taste in my mouth was the documentary. One, for months they have been building up this website. This has been very, very premeditated. How do you know? I think it's the indignity... How do you know you, they've been building up this website? These things don't, that they don't come no, out. But how, how do you, where do you get that information from? It sounds, sounds to me like you're cherry-picking newspaper I, articles. Because I'm clever, and you don't build these things out of thin air. They right. come months and months of planning. Okay, so you, you didn't I mean, hear about it. I don't need a paper you, to tell me that. Oh, okay. How do, you know no, how do you know it even exists? you to tell me that. How do you know it even exists? Because but, you're clever, but honest. didn't you ring in to tell me that there was something wrong about Echo Chambers painting other people as not yes. being clever? No, the point being... No, no, you did. I was here. Yes. Right. So you get all your information from newspapers and you're clever, but you don't like Echo Chambers. So here's the question. Why did no, you I turn like against... Echo Chambers. I think the, why did the you turn against Meghan Markle? All of your callers has, have been agreeing with you, yes. You, I, no, no, all of my callers have made sense she, until now. So she, why, why, why no. did you turn against Meghan Markle? I don't. I, I, what I'm trying to get is actually is you because you are the one who will. Yes, but I, I, I'm not interested in me. Everybody is racist or we're sexist. No, no, no. Why, why do you not like her then? Like why Megan does she Markle? leave a nasty taste in your mouth, January? Well, when she went, when she did, when it's actually even not her. It's him. No, well, no, we're talking one. about her. Away, you said the moment she left a nasty taste in my mouth. Family. Yes. And the fact is, when you do. So a you're going to pretend you didn't just say that. You're going to you do a documentary in Africa, for instance. Yes. And you're in probably the poorest country in the world, one of the poorest countries in the world. Yes. And they're doing fantastic things, and they have such great reception. Everybody was applauding the trip. It was a success. And then they do a documentary, and what do they talk about? They talk about themselves. And I find that really undignified. It's it just, they were call, claiming how, you know what? So, it, so it when they're asked time. questions, the when they're asked the questions about themselves, what should they say? 
I don't think they should have, they, sh- they shouldn't have said anything. So, the, 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 so when Tom Bradby said, said to her in the documentary you refer to, when Tom Bradby said to her in the documentary you refer to, how are you yeah. feeling? What should she have said? She says, I don't want to answer questions like that. God, well, you're right. I, you know, You've got me, January. You're too clever for me. It's half past 12. Tim Humphrey has the headlines.